The folks at Chemofun sent over this KM Cam 20 video mic kit. I'll check out all the accessories that came with the kit and test out this microphone that's coming up on Thrifty AV. The KM Cam 20 microphone is more than just a microphone, it's a kit. You get the microphone itself, you get this foam windscreen, you get a fuzzy windscreen, you get this shoe mount, you get this telephone mount, you get a tripod base, you get a carry bag, and you get two cables, one for if you're using it with a phone, another if you're using it with a camera. But wait, this is out of the box. Let's back up and check out the unboxing. Okay, here is the box for the Kemafun Video Mic KM Cam 20. It got a little bit crushed in the e packet that arrived from China. This piece right here is for uh, mounting a phone. This is interesting. It has this little pouch here. Here is a TRS to TRRS adapter for your phone. A little fuzzy dead cat style windscreen. And this is TRS on both sides. All right here is the mount for either a hot shoe or a cold shoe. And this appears to be a small tripod you can use with this. And here is the microphone and a foam style windscreen. The instructions say that this microphone has a condenser element. I'm sure they mean electric condenser. The frequency response is pretty flat and it has a hypercardioid pickup pattern. So it'll pick up audio primarily in front of the microphone. The microphone clips onto this red plastic mount like so. And if I'm using this with a camera, this is the cord I want to use. So it shows a picture of the camera here, so it wants me to plug that side into the camera, which means this side will go into the microphone. And indoors, I'll go ahead and use the foam windscreen. To use the telephone mount, I'm just going to put my telephone in here, and then I can attach the uh, microphone right here and screw it down. And I want to use the cord that is TRS on the microphone side and plug it into the telephone on the side that has a little telephone sticker. Here I have the Kemafun video mic hooked up to a Google Pixel 3a through the TRRS connection mounted to the tripod that came with this. And I'm ready to go for vlogging or whatever here with my phone. In this demonstration, I'm not going to do any equalization on this audio. I'm not going to sweeten it at all. Uh, what you hear is going to be what's coming out of the microphone. That being said, I will do some level adjustments if the level's a little bit hot or if the level needs a little bit of boost. And when I do that, you will see indications on the screen of uh, how much of a boost or a cut I'm applying to the audio signal. Before I check it out using my Google Pixel 3a, let's see how this sounds with my Panasonic Lumix FZ300. The kitchen area in my house has zero audio treatment. Uh, the Kemafun video mic is mounted to my Lumix FZ300. It is a little beyond arm's reach away from me. So you will hear room reflections in this uh, audio. Now I am capturing the preview from my Lumix FC300 in this capture device and you see all the preview stuff associated with the camera. I want you to pay attention to the lower left hand corner that shows the left and right audio channels. Uh, you will notice, you'll both see and hear that the audio is only coming through the left channel when the Kemafun video mic is hooked up to the FC300. Now there are workarounds for this. You can get an adapter that'll turn the mono signal on this microphone to dual mono and feed both left and right channels. Or you can fix it in post-production where you center up the left channel uh, and that way it goes through both left and right channels. Feeding the Kemafun into an FC300 will make it left channel only. 
And now for comparison purposes, you're listening to me through the built-in microphone on the Lumix FC300. I also want to see how the Kemafun video mic performs outside with both the fuzzy windscreen and the foam windscreen. Here's those tests with the Lumix. The sun's going down, but it's still pretty warm out here, so I changed clothes. I have the Kemafun video mic hooked up to my Lumix FZ300. I have the foam windscreen on it right now. Occasionally I'm getting some wind gusts, so it'll be interesting to hear how the foam windscreen deals with those wind gusts. You probably hear some cicadas behind me. Now my microphone indicator on my view screen is showing that I'm getting left channel only. I am using the cord that I was supposed to use with the camera. Now of course I can take a left channel only signal and center it up in post production, but if you are wanting dual mono with the same thing in the left and right channel, you will need to use an adapter. I'm now going to switch to the fuzzy uh, windscreen and see how it does. Okay, exact same setup except now instead of a foam windscreen I'm using the fuzzy windscreen. Again, I'm only getting left channel audio on the uh, indicator on my view screen so if I want to center this up I'll have to do it in post production. I'll probably just leave it alone though. Ooh, there's a nice gust of wind there. You can see it blowing my hat. So right now you can hear how well the fuzzy windscreen breaks this wind noise. I'm not going to switch to the built-in microphone on the Lumix. Now I'm not using the Kemafun microphone at all. I'm using the built-in microphone on the Lumix. Uh, the wind's blowing a little bit. We'll see how much that affects the audio on it. Uh, and this is what the Lumix sounds like without an external microphone. So the Kemafun video mic did a better job with wind noise, both with the foam windscreen and especially with the fuzzy windscreen compared to the built-in microphone on the FC300. As far as the left-only audio, that can be remedied with an adapter like this one. Of course, this adapter did not come with the kit, but if you get a mono mini plug to stereo mini plug adapter, it will split the audio into left and right channels and you'll get dual mono if that's what you want. Now let's take my Google Pixel 3a outside and see how the Kemafun does with it. I'm now using my Google Pixel 3a with the Kemafun video mic. I have the fuzzy windscreen on it right now and uh, you'll still hear the cicadas I'm sure. I'm curious to see how this sounds, if it's over modulated, if it's both left and right channels. I'm now going to switch over to the foam windscreen. I'm still using my Google Pixel 3a handheld outdoors with the Kemafun video mic. There's still plenty of cicadas making noise back here. I haven't had any good wind gusts lately to test the foam windscreen and oh there's one a slight breeze you might see my hat move a little bit uh, that might test the foam windscreen to see how well it does I'm now going to use the internal microphone on the Google Pixel 3a I'm now using the internal microphone on the Google Pixel 3a the cicadas are starting to calm down it's starting to get dark outside so they're gonna be a little less noisy there was some wind just blew through here so I'm curious to see how that breeze affects the internal microphone on the Google Pixel 3a this is what the Google Pixel 3a sounds like on its own without using the Kemafun video microphone and there's a little bit more breeze there I want to talk about this tripod that came with the accessory kit. If you fold the legs down, it becomes a handle. And this is how I was holding it outside. Uh, as far as the audio on the Kemafun goes, it was feeding both left and right channels. The audio was a little bit hot, so I dropped it 2.8 decibels to level match it with the rest of this video. 
both the foam windscreen and the fuzzy windscreen did a good job cutting the wind noise down. So I was pretty happy with the KemaFun microphone paired with my Google Pixel 3a. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.